Welcome back for another episode, everybody. It's Eric here from From the Bench again, and we are back with another episode. And this time we are opening up the second hobby box I have for the 2020-2021 Series 1 Upper Deck Hockey. So let's get right into it. Going to be a lot of cards here. So 24 packs per box, 8 cards per uh, guaranteed 6 young guns. So we'll see what we can get. So obviously we're looking for some more Lafreniers. Oh, it's taped. I was like, why is this being such a pain right now? I remember my last one was taped. I don't feel like it wasn't. Uh, Synergy, everybody's seen that. Get that out of the way. Lots of packs. Left side, right side. Ta -da. So tonight we'll start on the right side. We started on the left side last time. So I said, let's see what we can get. I was having a good weekend. Went today, got the Christmas tree. So yeah, I get right into it. So Colin White, Nick Dowd. Nylander, Yandel, and it's a Portraits. It's a portraits rookie. Uh, so it is a Jason Robertson. Pulled his young gun last time. So throw him in there. First card, Portraits, Jason Robertson. Make a pile over here. It's going to be a big pile by the time we're done. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you can always keep track of all the other videos that we get going on here, including the podcast. It's the first young gun, and it is another Peyton Krebs. So this one's actually a pretty good card. I think it's a 20 or $30 card, so it's a nice one to get right off the get-go. Once again, shout out to... Deenum Sports, my local shop, for some nice little 2020-2021 Young Guns um, top loaders. So, and then just your other ones, Taves and everything else. Last episode, we got the two in the middle there. So we got Peyton Krebs, and then the other one, it's kind of hard to see in the lighting, I guess, but it's a uh, P.O. Joseph, so Pierre Olivier Joseph. Um, it's a clear cut, so it's a nice one to get for the penguins. Anytime you get somebody that's snapping stuff around to Sidney Crosby, it's always good to have. This one always gets me because it's got the red bar, and I always think like, what is that one? Um, seen a couple times. This is a canvas. It's an Eric Carlson. That's a that's a pretty sweet card. Him coming out of the the shark's mouth there. That's pretty, pretty cool looking. Not your typical card. Yeah. Put that over there. Like I said, obviously the ones we're looking for here. Lafreniere in general. A French Lafreniere is, Young Gun is obviously, you know, that'd be a crazy pull. An exclusive. Um, obviously that'd be good clear cut any of that stuff obviously those would be the good ones well, there's other good guys in these packs obviously so JT Comfer Castle Hurdle Ellis oh it is another is this another Ryan McLeod <laughs> another Ryan McLeod this is funny I maybe Krebs and McLeod kind of go hand in hand uh, McLeod I believe it's like a five dollar card it is I got him in the last hobby box that you can kind of see behind it's over there propping up the other ones. Uh, I got Krebs and Ryan McLeod, so hopefully hopefully that's not the sign of everything to come here, but maybe they just follow each other for some reason, or maybe it's just chance. I've heard of some people saying, like, well, if you get certain cards, then you get, you know, expect Lafreniere or, or whatever. 
but then I've, you know, obviously there's the opposite of that, right? So you know, let's keep on moving. Two Karras, Jeff Carter. And this one is a game jersey. That was a Zach Wierenski. Wierenski's a really good player. Kind of, I won't say he's underrated, but he's not, I don't think, anymore. But him kind of emerging, kind of let them get rid of Ryan Murray over there. Not going to, not going to take him there. There we go. So an upper deck game jersey. Zach Wierenski. Nothing else, I don't think. Let's keep on going. So if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. Let's see what you guys get. Like I said, I, I'd like to know who you guys are getting, wh who your team is, who you root for, all that other stuff. Sean. And... and debut dates, Dominic Kubelik. Guy was wild over there in Chicago. Put up, what, 30 goals in the 60-some games that they had for the season. So I think they might have found, found a pretty good guy over there in Chicago. Get him playing with Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, who one point Jonathan Taves kind of looked like he might just falter out for some reason. Uh, but now he's really come kind of come back into his own last season or two is this is this a, just a filler uh, and it's another portrait it is a two caress and then just two blanks okay so two Karask. Probably end up giving that to Tucker. Big Bruins fan. So the portraits aren't really worth a ton and he's, he likes the Bruins, so may as well give him to Tuck. Uh, let's see here. Dylan Strom. Let's get the French uh, variant of that last time. Setting in point, and it is another Young Guns. This is Igor Zamula. Young Gun. So I don't have him yet. That's a different one. I think his stuff, the pictures of, of him, they're from the, uh, they're from the bubble. I don't think they have any pictures of him. I don't think he played. Uh, yeah, he just played in the WHL. So it's three seasons in the WHL. 102 points in 158 games. Last year was a point a game. Pretty good defenseman. There we go. Put him up there. Let's try to keep the young guns front and center. So, so far, Igor Zamula, Ryan McLeod, and Peyton Krebs. I'm not sure what the Zamula go one goes for, but I know the Krebs one is pretty much the the hit of this pack so far. Assuming Zamula is not a big, big guy, but maybe I'm wrong. So Gensel, Ovi, Gusev, that's the canvas. Canvas, Evgeny Kuznetsov. Who actually played for Colorado? Uh, for the Capitals, I mean, why did I say Colorado? Genny Kuznetsov, Canvas. We'll just keep a pile there. If you're wondering why I'm using the knife, it's because <laughs> I find these packs are actually kind of. A little more pain, pain to open. A little bit. Just use the knife. It works out pretty good. Uh, so Pshen, Preko, Kempe, and another young gun. So that's going to be four young guns. Four of our six are on the right side. Uh, 
P.O. Joseph. So match him with the uh, the other one there. And then just a couple other guys. Okay. That is kind of weird. That literally, I got P.O. Joseph last time, Ryan McLeod last time, Peyton Krebs. And these were in two hobby boxes that were back to back on the on the shelf. So I guess I'm pretty sure they were, I guess it depends on how they came out of the case, but just a little different. Keep on going. Said PO played some junior hockey not around not far from here, so Get to watch him quite a bit. Uh, John Marino, Riley Smith, Matt Zuccarella, Darnell Nurse. This is a variant here, a French variant of Oliver Bjorkstrand for Columbus. That's a little different. You always notice if you're ever looking and you're like, oh, if, you, if for some reason you get a high box, you're like, what's different? Why why didn't I get a hit in one of the cases? That's why. Um, it's usually the French variants. Wheeler and Timo Meyer. So, once again, not really the French variant you want, but it is what it is. Bjorkstrand's a pretty good player over there in Columbus. Uh, Kerfoot, Kadri, that's a, <laughs> that trade right there, the, the Kadri for Kerfoot and Barry, it's looking pretty good for the Avalanche, not gonna lie, uh, Jets, and then a rookie ret retrospective, Mackenzie Blackwood, so it's not the jersey, I know these have like a jersey insert ones, um, but the only ones I've got so far are the ones that are just the uh, the plastic. So, Mark Stahl, Pasta, John Carlson, and Bo Horvat. So, that is it for the right side. So, we're just going to keep on cruising through this here and get on to the left side. And so, we got three of our or four of our young guns so far. So, we should be looking for two more here on the right side. And we know who we're looking for. Uh, Pavel Zaka, Tucker, Bernier, Nylander, other portraits. The guy who took home the Norris this year, Roman Yossi. Just a, what a stud, eh? Just. He's got the Saved by the Bell look to them with the different colors. Put those up there. Try to space these out a little better. Look at that arm. I'm sure you guys all love seeing my arm in the middle of the frame. So, And then, yeah, uh, James Neal, the real deal. Jonathan Duran, another terrible trade. And D'Angelo, who you kind of would have thought that maybe he was going to get a big deal this year didn't uh Hampus Lindholm and Jack Eichel underrated Matthew Perot and it's another young guns this is Alex Belize for the Canadians bubble picture so Alex Belize uh, right winger born in 1991 wow so he's, he's yeah that's a he's 28 a 28 year old young gun the six seasons in, in the AHL they were really uh, <laughs> scraping the bottom of the barrel for that one to get him as a young gun but yeah Man's older than some of the guys over here that are not, not young guns anymore. So, wow. 
You're not the young gun you want. Um, but here we go. Alex Belize. Brazil? Brazil, maybe? I don't know what it is. I was going to say, the guy looks like he's 30. How is he a young gun? But it's because he actually is 30. That, that makes sense. Why? Uh, to bring it. Oh, I don't see what that one is already. Um, Breche. Clef Bomb. And this is one of the worldwide. This is Tevu Teravainen for Finland. Miles Wood, recently on Spit Chicklets. Just put that down there. Not really worried about messing up a NHL Worldwide Tevu Terrifying. That one. That one can sit outside the penny sleeve. Um, Richard Pant, or Ricardo Raquel. Uh, Shea Weber, Bobrovsky, it's a canvas, Keith Yandel. I like, I like Keith Yandel. He played his junior hockey here in Moncton, so I've always kind of just kept an eye on what he's done. He's become one of the, you know, best defensemen in the league every year. Yeah, Casper be happening. Esselindel. If you haven't yet, obviously we always recommend listening to our podcast and checking that out. Uh, but if you don't, if you if you're able to, if you're allowed to, uh, definitely check out the Keith Handel uh, episodes with Spit and Chicklets. He is hilarious. Just the stuff that that man did. Uh, Quinn Hughes, that would be in the big young gun last year, obviously. Truba, Pavelski, the old captain, Zafalo, and. A predominant Kyle O'Connor. Then Boone Jenner, Dougie Hamilton. Dougie in the Hartford Whalers uniforms. And then Ryan Suter. Kyle O'Connor. Kyle, Kyle O'Connor. Why do I keep on one? It's Logan O'Connor for the Avalanche. That's where I'm getting the O'Connor from, I think. But yeah, let's pop that out. Got some stands coming too, um, just to kind of prop these up. Makes it easier to kind of see the hits. So, so far, if you're zooming ahead, trying to see what's going on, uh, Igor Zamula, Ryan McLeod, Peyton Krebs, Pio Joseph, and Alex Bazil uh, are the main young guns we've got. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we get that Dazzlers in there. Nick Letty, Elvis Merzlikens, Peter Morazic, Brendan Gallagher, and the blue, it is Mitch Marner, the blue dazzler. They're a cool card. So I should probably check. I'll check at the end of it. I didn't really check the corners of the young guns. Obviously, it's kind of what you're hearing from a lot of people is the corners of the young guns are all messed up. But I don't think any of mine have really had any. Not as compared to some of the ones I've seen. Some of the ones I've seen are just terrible. Okay, it's the last quarter of the hobby box here. Looking for one more young gun. Last time we got six young guns, and then we got the clear cut P.O. Joseph. So maybe we got a clear cut in here too. Zach Wierenski, Elias Lindholm, P.K. Subban. Oh, look at this. Alexa's over there talking. <laughs> uh, Dylan Larkin, and it's another debut date. Kirby Doc. That kid's going to be really good. The move he pulled in training camp the other day was ridiculous. Um, kicking the puck over across the ice for a goal, for Buddy to set up for a goal. Like, what a, what, what a guy. Like, just 
just to have that much skill that yeah obviously it's a practice it's not a game but just to be able to pull that out and make it happen that's pretty impressive Sam Gerard, Klimberg, Zach Hyman, Dimitri Olav, and oh, sorry, another French version. Coyotes, Golden Knights, Capital. Oh, it's stuck to him. Igor Shosturkin, Canvas. The Rangers. Man, we're hitting all the all the big guys from last year. They're they're all they're all coming out. Sterkin, Kirby Doc, Dominic Kubelik. We were hitting these guys last year and this would be you'd be laughing, I think. What else we got that was pretty good? That was last year. Oh, Mc Mackenzie Blackwood. He was a. He would have been a good hit last year. Let's see here. Oh, and then Igor. Yeah, Igor. There you go. Um. Aaron Ekblad sitting on the back. So Nick Foligno, Jared Spurgeon, Kelly Coyle. So this is a predominant. Brady Kachuk. Throw my sleeve since we're here. I think that's it. I don't think I kind of try to skim through these two just to make sure for some reason they didn't do old Dutchie. That's a terrible jersey, though. Um, and the Panthers making sure there's no like French variants snuck into any of these by accident. Don't think that's what would happen, but you never know. You never know. So Connor Murphy, Nick Suzuki, another one that would have been a big hit last year. Provorov, here's another young gun. Is this an, another Jason Robertson? I think it is. Oh, okay. So this is a Jake Ottinger exclusive numbered out of 199, 100. Out of 100, number 26, almost a jersey matching number. That's not a bad one. That's a, that's a nice card to have. Jake could be the goalie of the future there for the Stars. So Jake Ottinger... Upper deck exclusive young gun. It's a nice card. Put up some good numbers for Texas last year. So that is the, the hit of the break so far. Donskoy, Kemper, Martin Jones, Philip Forsberg. Yeah, that's a uh, Igor. You're going down here. Jake, you're going up there. Two packs left. Is that two? Yep. So I can't remember if the exclusives count. Like I said, last time I got, I think you're only supposed to be getting six young guns. Yeah. Six young guns per hobby box. But last time I got six and I got the clear cut. So I don't know if maybe I'm going to get another young gun here, even though I just got an exclusives. Wait, see, uh, Rasmus Ristolainen, Noel Cherry, Kevin Hayes, Mr. Connor McDavid. Nope, there's another young gun. So this last young gun is for the stars. A Ty DeLandre. Don't know much about him. So that's three. Uh, Toronto, Ontario born. Born 2000, so he's just 20 years old. Put a 
good points in Flint last year, 70 points in 47 games. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, last pack. Pop this open real quick. So, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like, subscribe. <laughs> be more stuff coming. Some days it's just your basic Tim Hortons openings, which we've had a pretty good luck on those. Sometimes it'll be cases. Sometimes it'll be the podcast. Sometimes it'll be the other stuff. You never know what can be up on here. So, uh, Philip Deneau, Simeon Varlamov, Rico Gomerody, Mikhail Zaitsev, JG Piaget, Christian Dvorak, Carter Hart, and the last one. Another portraits here to get this one is one Mr. Thomas Shabbat. Let's put him up there. So the big hits, just grab everything real quick. Just to recap. Won't bother with the portraits or the canvases. That's just not really even the dazzler. It's fine. So this, we got the bench partner Dazzler right there. We have the Eeyore Shesterkin canvas, a couple other canvases, some good guys. Uh, we got the game jersey. So this is a game-worn piece of the game-worn jersey uh, for Zach Wierenski. It's pretty basic, but nice little card. First rookie we pulled was a Jason Robertson for the Stars. Then we got into the rest of them. Alex Belzil, he's 48 years old, I think. Uh, P.O. Joseph, to go with the clear cut. A second Peyton Krebs. Ryan McLeod. Igor Zamula. A Ty DeLandria. And then the hit of the break. It is Jake Ottinger, goalie for the Dallas Stars. Upper deck exclusives. Said number 26 out of 100. It's a nice, nice card. Let's go in and pull. So, I said, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see anything else, certain packs, certain kinds of cards you want to see, just let us know. And uh, yeah, we'd love to, love to hear from you guys. So, until the next one, we'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.